You'll never guess who's awake. You're shitting me. Come see for yourself. How long has it been? Years. I stopped keeping track a while ago. I can't believe it's been that long. Time flies when you're watching someone breathe through a tube. How's the family? My wife's cheating on me with an old Torg sack, and uh, my daughter sits in her room listening to Aisha albums all day. I was for a dead woman, she sure releases a lot of records. <laughs> no shit. God, that was a hell of a year. Alderman Hughes, Mayor Winslow, Aisha, Chief Monroe. All murdered by that asshole who's been sitting in intensive care on taxpayers' money. Boy said he wouldn't pull the plug. Lord knows why. Anyone call the chief? Couldn't get through. The press has been mobbing him with phone calls. Oh, about the... Yep. I forgot that was today. You should pay more attention. Fuck off. How's the patient? Seeing as they're still breathing after being caught in a massive explosion, I'd say pretty good. Coming through! What happened? Shanking. Put him over there. Sorry about that. Have they said anything yet? Not yet. But I'm about to take the bandages off. Yes. That looks like it healed nicely. Be careful, doctor. The patient's dangerous. You got anything you want to say to the judge, you better start thinking of it now. You're wasting your time. Let's get a hold of Troy. Psst. Hey! Is it really you? Do I know you? My brother was in the Saints and he told me all about you. Listen, we gotta get you out of here. Well, I'm sure if we ask nicely... I know a way out. Yeah? Then why are you still here? I heard you were in here and I wanted to bust you out. Getting out of here is a two-man job and no one else will give it a try. You really expect me to trust some guy I don't even know? Come on, I just got myself shanked so I could get a chance to talk to you. Doesn't that show I'm loyal? It shows that you're dumb enough to let yourself get stabbed. I'm trying to help you. You know what I got the last time I trusted someone? Blown the fuck up. You need me. <laughs> the hell I do? I got the Saints. <laughs> sure you do. What's that supposed to mean? How long do you think you've been out? Yeah, I don't know, man. Two or three weeks? Look. I know you think you're a badass, but do you even know where you're at? Without me, you'll be wandering around the prison for hours. Even if you manage to hide from the guards that long, and if you actually figure out how to make it outside these walls, you're just gonna find out that you're sitting on a goddamn island. And I'm pretty sure you can outswim the Coast Guard. You got a boat stashed here? No, but I know where we're gonna steal one. All right, let's get out of here. Let me show you someone steps. <laughs> you should have never stepped in my city. We can either try to sneak out through the roof or charge out the front. You're caught. We got you surrounded. Yeah, it's a dream come true. Now let's move. Remember my brother? Isn't tough guy wore purple? Sure. So what are you gonna do when you get out of here? Let's not get shot first, then I'll worry about it. <laughs> I think we might pull this off. Glad you have so much faith in your plan. I told you I'd get you out of here. We're not out yet. I'm gonna get us out of here!
those bitches off us! That's the road? It is now. Jesus, when did this happen? <laughs> when Ulter got involved. The clothing company. After Hughes was killed in that bombing of yours, Ulter picked up the pieces. Now they're everywhere. On TV, on billboards, in stores. Hell, if you ever forget who Ulter is, just look towards Saints Row and you'll see that fucking eyesore. Here we are. Where can I find the other Saints? <laughs> what other Saints? What you talking about? Without anyone to lead them, the Saints fell apart. Once the Brotherhood, Ronan and Samdi showed up, the few that were left dropped their flags before they got killed. Well, that's fucking great. Look, I know you didn't ask for it, but my advice is to just keep your head down. The cops are looking for you and a lot's changed. I say you just go buy a beer and soak up as much information as you can. Thanks, Carlos. Anytime. Weak zines. My car now. My fans won't let you get away with this. That'll really make you stand out. I wonder what those old guys are going down in the caves the other day. You want to make today the best day of your life?
century. A notorious member of a gang once known as the Third Street Saints, Johnny Gatt, was arrested last year in an assassination attempt against then-decorated police officer Troy Bradshaw. In the resulting trial, Gatt was convicted of one count of attempted murder and a staggering 387 counts of first-degree murder, promptly sending him to death row. Hey, Barry, turn this shit off! Yeah, I was watching that. I guess you're not anymore, are you, bitch? Could you turn the TV back on? In a few short moments, we'll be allowed back in the courtroom and we'll find out, once and for all, if Mr. Gat will go home a happy man or a dead one. Back to you, Jack. Oh, shit. Ah! I'm gonna beat your ass. One goddamn day go by without something like this happening. Ah! Why did I have to pick today to come down here? Where you going, you pussy? Do you think I'm pretty? Adi! There's that fucker. Did you need to work hard to get that ugly? Uh! <laughs> Let's go, asshole. Meryl's got uh! a message for you. Uh! Your deal. Want to see the press credentials in my pants? Oh shit, that's assault. I want this. <sighs> Mr. Gat. You've been convicted of over 300 murders. Do you really expect this appeal to work? I figure with the statute of limitations, it really should be closer to 250. There's no statute of limitations for murder! Why the fuck not? Watch yourself, Mr. Gat. Or what? You hold me in contempt of court? You're already planning on giving me the chair. You think I'd give a shit about you not liking me? Fuck off. I'm curious if you can keep your cavalier attitude when 2,000 volts are running through your body. Oh yeah? And I'm curious if you can keep acting like a douchebag when I shove that gavel up your ass. My client would like that stricken from the record. What's that? <laughs> Drop it. Uh, anyone hit and need a lawyer? Shit. About time your burnt ass woke up. You okay, Johnny? Yeah, aside from almost getting sent to the chair, I'm fucking great. Hey, you look different. You do something with your hair? You ready to get out of here? Walking 
away from this. To me out. Ish would have killed me if I got executed. You still with Aisha? Yeah, I mean, got a little tricky with me on death row and her being on the DL after faking her own death, but you know, we found a way to make it work. How long were you in jail anyway? Two years and 31 days. Not like you were counting. Yeah, right? You know, it's weird. People inside were betting how long I'd last. See, when I was first busted, guards were always trying to put me in the ground. After Troy became chief of police, it all stopped. Troy must be more forgiving than I am. Troy's the chief of police? Yo, you better start getting with the times. Julius is missing, Ben King wrote an autobiography, Dex is a... You know, don't even get me started with Dex. But the real kick up is Troy. In a couple of months, he went from undercover cop to chief of police. And word is, he's become obsessed with finding out what happened on your little boat trip with the alderman. If I get some free time, I might swing by the station and say hello. Three, two, one.
Listen, we have to make this quick. Stefan is having another one of his soirees today, and I'm not missing his pool boy this year. Here's the deal. I've been trying to sell real estate in this area for a month, but no one's buying because the property value's too high. What do you want me to do about it? My cousin runs a septic company. I figured you could borrow one of his trucks, drive around the area, and, well, you know. You really think people are going to want to buy houses if the area is covered in shit? It's really hard to find cheap housing in Stillwater. A rival realtor has exclusive rights to new homes in Quinbeca and New Henke. Let's pay their construction sites a visit. Yeah, baby! I wish I could see the homeowner's face. What does it take to stop this thing? That ought to make Javier happy. This is way more fun than it should be. I gotta tell you, you need to try this. It's very liberating. I feel like I got a little road rage building up. That house looks shitty anyway. What are these people thinking? Wonder how much they're willing to pay for that property now. Let's see you out sell my cousin now, asshole. Shouldn't the airbag have gone off by now? I wish I could see the homeowner's face. That ought to make Javier happy. You feel something? I think they might... No, they're dead. You ask me, this place looks shitty enough, but if Javier wants the property value lower, that's what he's gonna get. I wonder if they dented the truck. You're really messing this place up. I'm surprised the cops care so much about a trailer park. Get off the road! Hey, remind me to take a picture of the grill for insurance purposes. Now that right there was a thing of beauty. It's moments like that that make me love my job. Judging by the crap laying all over the place, I doubt anyone will notice. We're going to jail. This beachfront property will be hot once Javier gets to move it. The safety rating on this thing has got to be through the roof!
brought that on yourself. Let's get out of here before the smell starts to sink in. Some people are just inconsiderate drivers, you know? I don't think we're gonna see too many people tubing in that. This was a bad day to be walking around in a two-piece. I'm never gonna walk barefoot here again. Enjoy your picnic! Suddenly my day ain't looking too bad. I hope we got coverage for that. They hate it when you do that. Let's get out of here before the smell starts to sink in. I swear to baby Jesus, this town is a fucking Wild West show. Now that's a day at the beach they won't forget. We having fun yet? Let's see what this big bastard can do! Ah, they'll live. I'll plow through anything that gets in my way! I don't think we're gonna see too many people tubing in that. Who puts these things there? All right, this is prime real estate. We're gonna have to work overtime to drop property value here. <laughs> that was priceless. This is a whole lot of shit. Let's be honest. The people who shop at these boutiques deserve to be knocked down a peg. Those snooty assholes got what was coming. You think this is funny? Did you see the look on their faces? Now that just put a smile on my face. <laughs> that was priceless. This is so much better than seeing my therapist. Those snooty assholes got what was coming. To I can't believe I'm getting paid for this. We don't got time for traffic laws. That's coming out of my paycheck. Take a shower, you bum! Avoiding it would have taken too much time. God, that made me feel warm inside. Let's be honest. The people who shop at these boutiques deserve to be knocked down a peg. I don't think they appreciate it. This hit and run thing really does get easier the more you do it. What the fuck is wrong with people? 
That'll teach him to waste four hundred dollars on a handbag. This is a whole lot of shit. Oh, yeah! You okay, buddy? God, that made me feel warm inside. My fault! My fault! What's up? It's Gad. Meet me at Aisha's place. We gotta figure out our next move. Ten years ago, I could have taken all. If you figure out... Get the fuck out! Beer? Yeah, that'd be great. Johnny, who's that? Yo, come to the living room and find out. Johnny, I don't care if you just broke out of jail. You do not mess with my furniture. Oh my god, it's you. Surprised, Aisha? What? That you're here or that you're talking? Pick one. We all thought you were dead. I almost was. Well, for someone who was blown to hell, you look great. <laughs> Did you do something with your hair? Now, I've been getting that a lot. Yo, can we get back to business? What's the rush? I've been cooped up on death row, and that bitch has been laid out in a coma. We definitely need to remind motherfuckers who we are. And that can't wait until after dinner? No. no. <laughs> you two haven't changed at all. Well, you know, there's a saying about dogs and blowing shit up. <laughs> so what's the plan? We get our crew together. Once we got that, we can work on how we taking back our city. Sounds good. And where were you planning on having this little meeting? No. Well, this place is pretty spacious. No. The color's very soothing. No. Come on, Ish. This ain't no fucking gang clubhouse. Change of plans. We gotta find a new place? Yeah, you got it. Head over to the old mission house. We should be able to set up shop there. Why don't we just set up shop at the church? Altor's renovated it and turned it into a tourist trap. You're kidding me. I wish I was. We gotta find a new place and the mission house will be perfect. Eh, religious buildings have kinda been there and done that. No, we're not staying in the mission. Now check it out. Years ago, an earthquake dropped part of the city below sea level. And rather than clearing out the rubble, the city just built over it. There's an abandoned hotel below the mission that'll work for us. All right, so what's the catch? We gotta evict the current tenants. Sounds like fun.
this all day. So, what you think? It's kind of a shithole. True that. But it's a shithole with potential. I don't know, man. Oh, come on. A stripper pole, some flat screens, maybe some nicer furniture? You had me a stripper pole. Fucking A. You know, this ain't exactly what I had in mind for my day. Yo, we gotta clean this place out. Yo, I'm not a fucking janitor. No shit, you're a goddamn diva. 
Come on, this is the kind of shit people who just got canonized should have to do. Good idea. We'll just ask some of the crew for help. Hey, buddy, you wanna help? No? Looks like we doing this ourselves. That's my point. We can't really run a gang if we don't have, you know, a fucking gang. You said it yourself. Most of the old crew are either dead or busted by Troy. We're gonna have to start fresh. Yeah, well, let's get on that, because I'm done mopping up blood. This kid Carlos helped me bust out. He seems all right, but we're gonna need more. What you thinking? Yo, I met some people in jail who might work. Let me make some calls. Once I find out where these bitches are, you're gonna have to show them that you're the real deal, though. They won't just follow anybody. It won't be a problem. Hey, before you go, what sort of crew you looking for? I'd love to help the Saints, but first you need to do me a favor. A deadbeat friend of mine owes me money. Can you help me repossess his car? How you been? Busy. Yeah, I heard what you did at Johnny's trial. And I couldn't let him fry. You know Gat from jail? You know I saw Johnny in prison once. He didn't look like a really happy guy. He's happy enough when he's killing somebody. Seriously though, he's a good guy, just don't piss him off. Ramon, what's up? Listen, I don't got a lot of time. I was just calling to let you know that <laughs> I stole your car. Are you there? Great. Here's the deal. If you don't want your car cubed, I really suggest you pay me what you owe me. Talk to you later, Ramon.
playing the Saints? Yeah, you're in, Carlos. I'll meet you at the old mission. See you then. I'm gonna run with you. I wanna see you fuck some Ronin up. Good. Meet me at the abandoned mission house. I'll be there. I'm Shandy. What do you say you show me what you can do in that thing?
What you say we go meet the rest of the boys, Shandy? Good times. Let's go. What the hell is going on? I had to do some canonizing. Hold up. You. You're next. Wait, what? Sorry about that. Where'd you find these guys? Like I said, I made some calls. You guys actually hang out down here? I don't know. Add a flat screen, some throw pillows, and a hookah, and this place would be all right. You definitely need a stripper pole in this bitch. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So what do we do now? We listen. All right, everybody listen up. We got some serious shit to discuss. The Saints used to own Stillwater, and it seems like the only motherfuckers that remember that is me and Gat. I think it's time we give those other crews a wake-up call. Now, I ain't gonna lie, a lot of shit's changed since I've been out of the game, so I'm gonna need some help. Pierce, you on the Ronin. I wanna know who's calling the shots and what businesses they running. Done. Shondi, you got the sons of Samdi. It's gotta be them. Fuck you say? It's cool. I, I got this. Carlos. The Brotherhood. I'm on it. Aight. Once we're done here, talk to one of these guys. I have something for you to do. It's our time now. Let's get this shit started. Yeah. What's up with the dollhouse? Dollhouse my ass. This is how we gonna fuck up the Ronin. This'll be good. <laughs> Trust me, it is. The Ronin have a stake in Poseidon's palace, so I figure hitting their biggest money maker is a good way to show them we not fucking around. Okay, so what's the plan? You and I enter the casino here. Once inside, we need to distract this security guard. I was thinking you could catch me cheating or some shit like that. Anyway, while the guard's concerned with throwing me out, Gatto sneak in through this security door. Don't worry. I already got today's passcode from the blackjack dealer Shandy's fucking. Now, once inside, Gatto had to sneak past the guards to cut the power. And when that happens, we only have about 45 seconds before the backup generator turns on. During the blackout, yo, 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 though... hold up, man. I mean, I love the dream house you built here and everything. But what if we just start here, walk into the casino, and just shoot all the motherfuckers that are between us and the money? Well, you know... It would be a lot faster. And a lot more fun. Yeah, but... Fuck it. Let's go. Good call, Johnny. Well, you might want to watch out for that. Thanks a lot, asshole. I'm gonna love what I got planned for the Ronin. Who's calling the shots? A kid named Shogo Okuji. Now he probably spends more time on his head than he does on his bike, but it doesn't change the fact that he's totally ruthless. Good to know. Hey, I thought Pierce was coming along. Where is he? Pierce is picking up some of the other saints and meeting us there. I figure we can get the party started without him.
gonna get us both killed. Well, they call the cops. Big surprise there. Pretty big score. Yeah, but before we start buying new cars, we better clean this money. Yeah, stashing a ton of money with a bunch of criminals seems like a smart idea. We gotta find a place to hide it. Yo, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll take it to Isha's. You sure she's cool with that? Yeah, she'll be fine. Junichi, you need to relax. My father won't find out about the casino. Don't question me, Junichi. And we're in America. Speak English. Forgive me, Shogo. A little jumpy today? Over there. Sword. Listen, Junichi. I know you're having a hard time adjusting to the way I run things here. But how about you let me deal with my father and you deal with whatever the fuck I tell you to deal with. Of course, Shogo. Excellent. Hey, hey, be cool. It's not so bad. Mero asked to sit down and have a chat with you. He wants to work something out before things get out of control. Why is there a big pile of money on the coffee table? It's a little complicated. We shot up a Ronin casino and stole the cash. And you brought that shit here. Ish. Who else are we gonna trust with the money? But the Ronin know you stole it, right? Well, they wouldn't have if we would've went with my plan. Yeah, well, if we went with your plan, we'd still be talking about it. Fuck off, Gat. Excuse me? Shut up. We're on. The casino heist has left the police baffled. Standing next to me is Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. Chief, how's the investigation going? This is an investigation, Miss Valderrama. I can't get into details. Can you say anything about the Third Street Saints' involvement? I don't know what you're talking about. This leaked security footage shows the leader of the Saints, recent fugitive and Saint Lieutenant Johnny Gatt, as well as an unknown accomplice assaulting the casino. Obviously, the Third Street Saints are back after a long hiatus. All right! Oh, woo! Woo! oh God. Unknown accomplice, my ass! Miss Val also, reports claim that Altor is pressing the police department for a quicker response. One of Altor's investments was robbed. Of course they want their money back. All right, all right, we've had our 15 minutes. Let's clean this money. Do you even know how to launder money? How hard can it be? Buy expensive stuff one place, then resell it someplace else. This ain't gonna work. You worry too much, Pierce. with me.
where it is, you got a car for sale. I do, but my baby doesn't come cheap. Money is no problem. This was a bad idea. We fine, Pierce. The Ronin ain't stopping me. Tell me you're selling some serious firepower. You look a little fancy to be starting a junta, oh but I got some toys I think you'll like. Nothing stopping me from taking back what's mine. Product for sale. Okay, I can use all that stuff. Let's go to my stash. I'm trying to kill you? I made a lot of friends, what can I say? You brought the wrong in here? Did I forget to mention that part? Shogo is explaining her failure to his father. Mr. Akuchi doesn't sound happy. That's because his son has brought him much shame. Akuchi-san is coming to America to teach Shogo how to lead. 
Is that good or bad? That depends on who you are. We need the saints taken care of before my father arrives. What would you have me do? What do you think I want you to do? Get some of our boys and kill them! Are these the ones that TV said to get? Yeah, that'll kill someone. Hey, I got you a present. A light bulb. Just what I always wanted. Come on, you think I'd just give you a light bulb? A face shredder. Just what I always wanted. Smoke this. Ever hear of a pipe? Pipes cost money. Money that can be used for drugs or shoes. What is it? It's the Sons of Samdi's number one product. They call it lower dust. But you smoke it. They suck at marketing, what can I say? The point is that this shit is all over campus. I mean, frats are buying it by the pound. If we get enough of the stuff, we might find out how to make it ourselves. And then we sell it for cheaper and steal their market. Exactly. How much stuff we talking? I don't know, three pounds? Two for science, one for the weekend? I can live with that. when you're taking on the Sons of Somdi. I think I can handle some banger sling and a skeeter fans. They're not just gangbangers. These guys are out of their damn mind. For God's sake, they're named after the Vidoan Lord of the Dead. 
Shondi, I don't know how to break this to you, but you're in a gang called the Saints. Names don't mean shit. Just be careful, okay? I didn't know you cared, Shondi. <laughs> don't worry, I'll be fine. Oh, great. Walking out of here, anyone else? Ah! Oh. Hey, Shondi, I got the dust. You got great timing. I just got a tip that Mark Gabby is slinging nearby. The guy brings in a lot of money for the Somdi. Taking him out should hurt them pretty bad. Gabby's taken care of. Good times. Now get me the dust and I can start working on our little science project.
Gentlemen, how was business today? Here's today's take. There are many singles where 50 should be. Yeah, about that. I couldn't get a hold of some of my guys. These men steal from the general? No, I I'm not saying they're stealing. Yo, Papa Shango. I'm talking to the general. On the streets, you may be a popular DJ veteran child. But when you're in this car, you do well to remember your place. My place? My friends, please be civil. Veteran child, look into the matter of the missing money. If one of your bag boys is indeed alive, take one of his hands. I doubt he will be late again. If he is not alive, I think we have a greater problem. You want me to cut off some dude's hand? If he stole from me, he needs to learn. Yeah, that makes, uh, sense. Is there a problem? No. I mean, it's no problem. I got this. Thanks for stopping by. The Brothers of Theta appreciate it. The Brothers of Theta better have cash. Don't worry, we'll scratch one of our pub crawls. That should cover whatever you charge. So what's the problem? Those Jagoffs in Gamma beat our step team. Now they think they hot shit. We need someone to knock them down a peg. You got anything I can use so they know you sent the message? This year we bought a flame suit for pledge hazing. You think you can find a way to work that in? Oh yeah. Three, two, one.
two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one. Three, two, one.
three, two, one.
to make a sad man very happy. I should finish him! Combinations! Combinations! Hell of a car you got there. Did you drop me off at... What's up? I can't believe what they've done here. It's pretty classy, huh? Whatever. A strip club named TNA? That was classy. This shit is just tacky. So did you find out what was in that lower dust shit? Science is hard. Anyway, like I was saying, I can't work it out, but I know someone who can. Who? It's a woman I met in prison. She knows more about this shit than I ever will. There's only one... What's the problem? She's still in prison. Great. Don't worry about it. I know how you're gonna break in. Samson, get over here. Hey, Sean, I rigged up that bomb you want. Oh. Um, you should probably hurry. Thanks for the bomb and everything, but what the fuck am I supposed to do with it? Don't freak out, I got this all worked out. The prison is powered by an old generator underneath the building. Take out that generator and it's lights out for the whole island. You should be able to sneak in, no problem. So where's the generator? It's not like they gave me a tour of this place when I was in a coma. I'm getting to that, relax. Just swing around the back of the island and go in through there. It'll lead you to the generator. Thanks, Shondi. Yeah. 
We'll catch up later. Let's get out of here. A jailbreak? How exciting! my house. I still can't get over that it's you. This is so exciting. So you're sure you can figure out what's in the sun's stuff? Don't worry, sweetie. When it comes to drugs or snickerdoodles, I'm the best. Ain't that the truth, baby? Toby! Thanks for bringing my pumpkin muffin back. You need anything? You let me know. Oh, I already talked to Laura about that. In that case, you mind giving me and the wife some quality time? I'd like to have a belated conjugal before the PTA meeting. Not at all. I grew up here. I didn't well, help I build this city so people could fill it with violence. You won't... Glad you can make it. You know, a nice robin egg blue would really spruce this place up. I was thinking more of an avocado. Ooh. Hey, can we, you know, talk about the lower dust already? Right. Sorry. That stuff is very sophisticated. I won't bore you with all the details, like acetone and trichlorothane, but there is definitely some very good pot in there. As long as we can make this shit, it could have embalming fluid in it for all I care. Making it won't be a problem. I'll give the recipe to Shondi. Now all we gotta do is stop those fuckers from producing anymore. Well, seeing as they're turning out so much product, they'd need a... Oh my god, I'm an idiot. What's up? I... In college, I dated this guy who would sell for the Suns, and he mentioned that they used to grow all their shit on a farm off campus. 
and this is coming up for the first time. Why? I forgot. You're right. You are an idiot. Hey! Thanks for your help, Laura. Where are you going? I got a farm to burn down. We can't just charge into that place. You don't have to. What do you mean? Tobias is outside in the car. He's got a pilot's license. Why don't you just have him fly you over the farm? You gotta be kidding me. Does it look like I'm joking? I gotta tell you, destroying this much product just feels wrong. Look on the bright side, at least you and Laura get the corner to market. I never thought of it that way. Say, Laura and I's anniversary's coming up. You got any ideas? Knowing Laura, I'd say either a bacon pan or an automatic shotgun. Fly me in close. Get out! Perhaps they did not understand you. What's, uh, what's up, guys? The saints raised my farm. That's, uh, that's some shitty luck. A helicopter mounted machine gun has nothing to do with luck. Well, how. Yo, can you cut that shit out? You're freaking me out. How did they find out about the farm? Why don't you tell me? I don't know what- Stop lying. Dude, I said I don't- And he said, stop lying. I'm telling you the truth, man. I don't know how they found out. Then you are not very useful, are you? I don't know how they found out, but I got some ideas. Enlighten me. Uh, I used to dig this bitch Shondi, and there's a chance, I mean a small fucking chance, that I might have gotten stoned and told her about the farm. Where is this Shondi? Word is she rolls with the saints now. <laughs> Let him go. Veteran child, you will go kill this Shondi. If you fail to do this, Mr. Sunshine will burn you alive. Does this sound fair? Uh... Excellent. Let's be on our way. Spend the night in jail. Holla, shorty.
The Suns have been using the trailer park to develop their product for years. If you can figure out what trailers they're using as drug labs, you should have no problem making them go boom. Harder than that. Ah! 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 
can't believe they thought they stopped me. Where's Johnny? Oh, I sent him out to the store. He should be back. Who the hell is that? Yo, that's our new house guest, baby. Mm. I caught this asshole riding around our turf. Got something you want to tell me? Go to hell. That wasn't very nice. Johnny, I just bought that table! Sorry about that. Why the fuck are you here? Whatever you do to me is nothing compared to what Mr. Akuchi will do to you. The oil boon? No shit. When's he coming? I'll die before I tell you. Yep. Johnny! It'll wash out. It better. What the fuck's in Akuji? Kazuo Okuji's the father of Shogo Okuji. The asshole's running the Ronin. Okay, so who cares? This guy's a fucking boogeyman. When I was in jail, I would listen to some of the Ronin talk about what this guy did in Japan. It's not pretty. You think he's all talk? I don't know. But I'm looking forward to finding out. <clears throat> you cool taking out those fuckers by yourself? I gotta clean up around the house. No problem, man. I got this. Don't worry, I'll get the money back. You're missing the point, Shogo. The money was insured. I'm more concerned about you. What? Ultor and the Ronin have had a very healthy relationship in the past, but lately, well, when I pay protection money, I expect some fucking protection. Watch yourself, Vogel. The Saints are a concern, Shogo. Not for long. Why's that? I've got my best man working on that now.
Moshi Moshi. Speak English. What is it, Shogo? I'm in a meeting with Dane Vogel. He wants assurances that the Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Like always. So check it out. You're looking at the Old Toy Institute for Science and Innovation, but the place isn't all Jacob's Ladder and Irrigation shit. In the center of it all is a bunch of servers that run the Ronin's web porn ring. Those assholes are making serious bank off their sites. So if you can take those bad boys out, the Ronin are definitely going to be hurting. When these people gonna get it? This is Saints territory. That was a lucky shot. You fucking know it. Caught with his girlfriend. Want to play?
Ultor's done some good things for this town, but I still don't quite trust them. Son of a... Excuse me. Looks like the Ronin are setting up shop for some deal. I don't know who or what they moving yet, but judging by the amount of security they set up, something big is definitely going down. You're gonna have to take out two sets of guards before you can get a visual on the pier. If I were you, I'd use a sniper rifle to drop those bitches from as far away as possible. It was gonna be a fight.
muchos. One of my girls at Technically Legal called me up and said that a Ronin bachelor party was getting too touchy-feely. The bouncers have all been paid not to do dick. So if anyone is going to teach those assholes a lesson, it's going to have to be you.
I don't take much pleasure in this. Then let me go. That depends on you. Aisha doesn't care that I'm stopping by, does she? Fuck no. Aisha doesn't go out much. She loves company. You're gonna kill me, aren't you? If you're calm, help us find the money and do what I say. I give you my word you will live. Ish, you home? Thank <laughs> you. 
out of the way. Gat's been stabbed. We need a ride to the hospital. Hang tight. I'm coming. Hang in there, Gat. I could save you. Man, he's not looking good. Just get us to the goddamn hospital!
Where you going, Ish? Stay away from her. Can't touch her. I'm so sorry. Going, Ish. Stay away from her. Good job, I'm giving you a raise. Johnny, you're gonna be fine. <sighs> Gotta save each. Look out, coming through. Pierce, listen up. Johnny got laid out by one of the Ronin. That mean I get a promotion? Don't get too excited, asshole. Gat will be back up in no time. Yo, that came out wrong. Just shut up and listen. Gat was oh. looking into a Japanese crime okay. boss called the Kuji. This guy's coming into town soon, and I want to know when. Got it. Don't fuck this up, Pierce. I'm not in a good mood. You got a story to tell your therapist. Fuck it, it was my wife's anyway.
I got the passenger manifest. Thanks. I'm not Shandy, so I had to, you know, do actual work to get that. What, you bribed someone? Why you gotta be an asshole? Akuji bought every first class seat on the plane. Looks like he's traveling with friends. That'll make killing him a lot more interesting. Well, if you want to welcome him to America, you better hurry. His plane's gonna land soon. How's Gat doing? He's in bad shape, but they live. If that was me, that asshole wouldn't have got away. If that was you, we wouldn't have had to go to the hospital at all. Yeah. I'm... Hey! What the hell are we listening to? I was listening to that. Too bad it sucked. When I'm driving, we listen to whatever the fuck I want to listen to. Why you gotta be like that? is going to have a lot of security, so be ready. Help! There they are! Like hell they are. Let's jack that cart. You like what you see, ladies? Put some spinners on this bitch and it'd be all right. You sure that was his flight? I'm telling you, he was supposed to be on that plane. Something's up. Let's get back to the hideout. These chunks are barely worth my time. Shogo-san Hello? What happened, Junichi? What happened is that you left your father to die. I didn't ask for your opinion, Junichi. What happened? I went to the airport to save Karakuji sans arrival. Once I saw the leader of the Saints making a move towards the terminal, I made my way to the plane so I could evacuate your father. His entourage willingly gave their lives to ensure safety. Let me speak to him. No. What? Your father made it quite clear he doesn't wish to speak to you. 
Anything you have to say to him will go through me. You ungrateful little- Sayonara. Dane Vogel is my own personal Jesus. They stopped me.
All I'm saying is that we don't know how long Gat is gonna be laid out. And you're willing to make a noble sacrifice and take his place? Someone's gotta step up. Trust me, Gat'll be up and running in no time. And if he's not? Then we have bigger problems. Sup? How badly do you want the man who hurt Johnny Gat? Who is this? Junichi will be at Kanto tonight. This is our chance for revenge. <laughs> our chance? Who the fuck are you? Where you going? I'm taking out the son of a bitch that killed Aisha. Die with some honor. We'll kill you like we killed the bride. That was nothing. How many of I fear no man. I fear we will fail Jonichi oh. as we did all red. For the Ronin, you gotta learn a <gasps> time to play for keeps. <gasps> Is everything okay, Father? He's dead, Shogo. Junichi is dead. And all I'm left with is you. Is that so bad? It's worse than you could ever imagine. Father, I... Leave me in peace, Shogo. I'll make you proud, Father. I'll finish what Junichi started. I'll kill Gat. I'll do whatever you want, Shogo. 
Just do it away from me. You have a lovely office. Please, do you really think I'd meet you anywhere public? Look on the bright side. At least we're not on a boat. I'm glad you can joke about your husband's death. I'm crying on the inside, I assure you. What do you want? Justice. Then call the cops. I said I wanted justice. Who pissed you off? Altors made fortunes by standing on the shoulders of my husband. The gentrification of Saints Row was first referred to as the Hughes Initiative, then the Altor Hughes Initiative, and now just the Altor Initiative. My husband's legacy has been stolen, and if I can't benefit from it, neither can Altor. I want you to devalue their property. I'm gonna need the name of the septic company the city's got a contract with. Why do you need to know that? You'll see. Monica told me of your plan. We start our war against Ultor on their own soil. Saints Raw. This is my road! You hit my truck! Hold together, girl. These bourgeois fucks will pay! The cops aren't making it easy on us, are they? Look at this sheep, content on these scraps, Otto feed them! Are you mad? This truck is falling apart on me! Why don't people ever get out of the way? Those corporate holes got everything they deserve. We stop, we get arrested. Their ivory tower will fall. Those corporate holes got everything they deserve. Some dirty business. Those people make me sick! We'll die for 
bloody cause. Their ivory tower will fall! That's some unfortunate luck. Someone's having a bad day. Let's see those cops keep up! That's going to be hard to write off as non-violent protest. Beautiful. Don't get cocky, we're not invulnerable. Big bourgeois fox will pay! These strippers of this town have been good to me. But Ultor hides behind the glittering pasties of those halls, and I will give them no ground to run to. <laughs> That's a blowjob they'll never forget. I hope they were into scat play. Those low-life pimps met a fitting end. The revolution shall not be stopped. <laughs> Let's see if they follow us now. Au revoir, slut. Maybe that bottle of wine was a bad idea. These bourgeois fox will pay! It looks like we got them with their pants down, so to speak. <laughs> That's a blowjob they'll never forget! It looks like we got them with their pants down, so to speak. That's a blowjob they'll never forget! This bourgeois fox will pay! Eh. Coming through! They were of little consequence. Keep way! Never happened. Do you understand? Au revoir, sluts. You can't have a revolution without collateral damage. Those low life pimps met a fitting end. Those low life pimps met a fitting end. I should think they love their lesson. Why is it whenever I kill a man, I feel compelled to smoke? This isn't going quite as well as I hoped. The excess of the wealthy disgust me. Oh. Au revoir, sluts. I hope they were into scat play. Those corporate whores got everything they deserved. The excess of the wealthy disgust me. Wow, sluts. I hope they were into scat play. No way to get you. There are no innocents in war. These idiots keep getting in my way. Au revoir, sluts. <laughs> That's a blowjob they'll never forget. The excess of the wealthy disc.
you walk to the zombie farm? That's just a cold. What are you gonna do about the way of it? Aren't you ready? I wish they'd fix my house up. This is just a spice. Nice to meet you. You can't do it! After we took out their dealers, the General decided to be a little more discreet in how they moved their product. The Sons have converted the second floor of that sex shop into a dust lab. Whenever they cook up a new batch, they walk on downstairs and sell to the lonely bastards buying dances from coal cores. Take out the Sons clientele, then destroy the dust labs. They'll never see you coming. tries to step to the saints.
I want to start moving some product through the bar region, but the Sambi have it locked down tight. Once we knock them out of the way, all we got to worry about is the Brotherhood moving to take their place. Hope you know how to fly a helicopter. I got no idea how the hell the Sambi got their hands on a plane, but you got to shoot it down. at a party.
shop in Chinatown. I gotta hook them up. to another deal. Nothing films in the factories isn't cutting it anymore. They want something more potent. You trying to get me killed? Cut it anymore. They want 
something more potent.
Next drop.
these people gonna get it? This is Saints territory. Nice place you got here, Shandy. What are you doing here? I've been watching this place. I know you're here alone. Not for long, I'm not. So you better get the... Don't make this difficult. Bitch! Back off! Back the fuck off! You think you walking out of here? Unless you want a bullet in this bitch, you're goddamn right I am. Kid, you just made us. You know who the fuck I am? Seeing as I'm gonna kill you in a few seconds, I don't really give a shit. Keep your distance! If you wanna see Shondi again, you better come to Cox. They weren't here. You find anything? Yeah. Veteran child was scheduled to spend it on track tonight. Want me to get a crew and take them out? Nah, I want this asshole myself. the best you got? Oh shit. Oh shit is right, motherfucker. Fuck me. Did you really think you could hide from me? This can't be fucking happening. See you soon.
easy. You think you can kill me and my club? You saints don't have a chance. What the? Ah! You really think you can take all of That bitch brought it on herself. What are you gonna do? Shoot through her? General will be It's like you would take me out. No! Shondi, you okay? My ex-boyfriend's a dick. <clears throat> Pretty much, yeah. I can't believe you got your ass kicked by that chump. Did I mention that my ex-boyfriend's a dick? You should go home and rest. By resting, you mean smoking an ounce? Then hell yeah. What the fuck came up with that shit? Holy shit, this car has a CD player? I need your car. Don't mug 
me. Have a safe day. Hope you like it. Have a great day, so see we on. I've got you on film.
Take a deep breath, assholes. thinking my friend it's beautiful and expensive more money will come you had best be right between the farm and this fire we cannot afford to have anything go wrong with our next shipment don't worry general the shipment will be safe these saints are proving themselves to be quite the nuisance then perhaps it's time we speak to their leader
for a man in the middle. the fuck are you? I am the man whose property you stole and destroyed. Oops. <laughs> you needn't dwell on your mistakes. You will not live to learn from them. That so? I'm afraid it is. Who the fuck are you? They call me Mr. Sunshine. Well, listen, Sunshine. I don't care how fucked up your face is. I ain't scared of you, or that other asshole. Pity. Gentlemen, I'm through meeting with my adversary. If you please, uh, dispose of this trash. Of course, General. <laughs> You're a general? Did you hear that? <laughs> that asshole thinks he's a... Shit! <laughs> Shawnee, this plastic box stole your voice. Holy shit, are you high? I really like your hair, Shandy. I'm gonna die. Great. Somdi are tailing him back here. We gotta give him a hand. Why can't I 
cannot go a day without getting shot at. How you feeling? Comfortable. And very hungry. You need help standing up? No. I'm good here. You sure? Oh, yeah. You know, there could be some more guys looking for you. Uh, you could take them, right? Probably not. Yeah. That's good. Fucking lightweights.
can't take all this sitting around. When you gonna let me come out and do some dirt with you? Don't take it the wrong way, Pierce. I'm just used to dealing with shit myself. Heads up, Pierce. Come on. Sorry, girl. No self-respecting brother plays hacky sack. Why you got the cheerleader calling the shots and not me? Right here. Pierce, I put you in charge of the Ronin. What more do you want? I can do more to help. Do you know how the Sons of Somni are still moving product after we torch their farm and drug labs? No? Then shut the fuck up. Why you gotta be like that? I'm just saying, don't bitch unless you got a solution. Um, guys... My solution is to do more than wait around for one of the 600 guys Shonda used to fuck to give us a call. There's a bunch of helicopters dropping cargo over Somni territory. How the hell you know that? Gotta be fucking kidding me. I'll tell you what, Pierce. If you want to watch me blow up some helicopters, you're more than welcome. About time you took me along. Pierce. No, I'm serious. I'm always on time. I always listen. I always pay attention. Pierce. Helicopters. I know we're looking for helicopters. I told you I got this. The fucking helicopters are here, Pierce. Shit! over the water. Pull over. We'll take a boat. Over there!
ditch the boat. We gotta get back on shore and grab a ride. You see that? Now that's a textbook carjack. Now this is what we need, some drive-by music. Shit. You're no Neo. I drop anyone that tries to step in the safe. I took no pleasure in this, my friend, but a price needed to be paid for failure. Don't worry. I only need one ear to hear the whispers of the lower. I know that you will fix this. Of course, General. Do not worry.
So the bastard's dead? I cut him up myself. Hello? How can I help you? Excuse me. You can't go that way. Hello, security? How you doing? She's dead. You really gotta ask. I'm sorry, guys, but I'm gonna have to ask you to return to the waiting room. Funeral? We're waiting for you. Cut it. How long till you're back? Doc said I should be up and murdering in a couple of days. Well, you know, he didn't say murdering, but you get the idea. Time to leave? Fuck yeah. You need me to change your bedpan? Shut up. So what you think about doing this every week? You really need to get out. You don't have a chance against me. You can't get away. Well, this isn't going well, is it? So since you've been out, I decided to put Pierce in charge. That's not funny. When did you learn to shoot straight? It's something I picked up when I was in a coma. You know, you could have brought flowers instead of a gang of people trying to kill me. It's the thought that counts. with me.
It must be hard to run without a spine. Should have never stepped in my city. So what you think about doing this every week? You really need to get out more. So since you've been out, I decided to put Pierce in charge. That's not funny. You know, you could have brought flowers instead of a gang of people trying to kill me. It's the thought that counts. Man, I just arrested the wrong gang! You need me to change your bedpan? Shut up. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mr. Rakuji. Shall we get down to business? You should care because I represent a multi-billion dollar corporation that employs your son. Now can we sit down? With the recent change in management, I figured it would be a good idea to touch base. We at Ultor understand that when working with the Ronin, there's bound to be some collateral damage. However, turning a hospital into a charnel house is something that even I can't spend. You need to keep your men under control. My English must not be as good as I thought it was. It sounded like you were giving me an order. You're quite astute, Mr. Akuji. I'm not a twenty-something who is impressed by a power tie, Mr. Vogel. I suggest you stop trying to bully me. Mr. Akuji, your son and I negotiated a very reasonable contract. My son's an idiot, Mr. Vogel. If you wish for the Ronin's protection, you had best be prepared to offer us something much more substantial. That's not going to happen. Then our business is concluded. Mr. Okuji, I can't possibly stress how unwise this could- Be silent. You can show yourself out now. Well, I guess that's that. Best of luck, gentlemen.
This is a hell of a place you got here. I mean, it's a good thing I had my tetanus shot, but beyond that, it's, uh, cozy. Do I know you? Name's Dane Vogel, who works for Altor. I remember he swung by the church and offered Dex a job a while back. You shouldn't be. Who's Dex? Dex was a man who had higher aspirations than being a thug. Can't blame him for moving on up. He was a fucking sellout. You call him a sellout, I call him a millionaire. What do you want? I want to help you. If I need any Altor Unlimited sunglasses, I'll steal them. So you're familiar with our products? Fuck off, Vogel. Do you want our help or not? Maybe yes. no. Well, this is a well-oiled machine. What do you got? We've recently severed our ties with the Ronin. Oh, you're breaking my heart. I know where the Akujis lay their heads. I doubt any of your lieutenants have that information. I don't know. Shondi's fucked a lot of guys. Gat's talking sense. How do we know it's not a trap? That part's easy. I'll wait for you here. If you don't make it back, one of your boys can take me out. Yo, why don't we just cut the waiting part? I think the waiting part is very important. Gat, you with me. Pierce, you're babysitting Vogel. You sure you don't want me to take out this asshole now? Save the bullet for Akuji. God, I'm looking forward to taking those assholes apart. Don't worry, Johnny. We're gonna send the Ronin a message. Good. Shit, I thought there was gonna be a fight. Time. 
time to die. Uh! The gold too easy. Oh. Help from pussies like you anyway. Ah. How did they find us? Oh, they've been gone a long time. Maybe I should... You really shouldn't. It's all right, Pierce. He led us right to him. Get out of here, Vogel. You've been a gracious host. How come you went to the Ronin and not us? You were in a coma and we couldn't find Julius. Timing is everything. I had no idea how far my shame could extend. Don't worry, Father. I'll fix this. No, you won't, Shogo. You'll continue to disappoint me. Sorry about this. Drive -by. Boy, an idiot would steal from the same. No way a bitch like you would take me out. This is Spackle Fishing Industries. Veteran child took me here to stuff frozen fish with Loa dust on our first date. It was good times. Anyway, not a whole lot has changed since then, and the Somdi are still moving shit through fishing boats. Take out the fish in the freezers, then go blow up the boat they're using to move the stuff.
quitting so soon? Get it done in a second. Kill me?
day. Just in case? Every year, Stillwater U has a cultural day in the student union where all these different clubs will do stuff like set up booths, pass out pamphlets, give away couscous, whatever. Anyway, the Sons of Somni are going to be there to do recruiting. If you hurry up, you can take all those assholes out. Oh! 
your arms. Ah! General! Ah! gotten sore. What's going on? Move it. Uh, can you pay more attention? Bounce, motherfucker! Oh, come on, man! <laughs> You'll never do. You don't score points for knocking stuff down. Yeah, well, sorry. My money's all going towards a next-gen physics car. Transfer all my legions of Lorland gold to your account. You can't break me. I have twenty two intelligence and nineteen endurance.
light shine on her. May her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace. You two have humiliated my family for the last time! Leave, little boy. Look at me when I'm talking to you! Fuck off, Akuji. I'm not killing anyone at Isha's funeral. Tonight? Tomorrow? You name a time and I will gladly fuck you up. But not now. How noble. Nobility is sorely overrated. from this. Not so fun when you're fighting someone who isn't tied to a chair, is it? I didn't kill her! You ordered it. I'm sorry. Well, that brings her back, doesn't it? You couldn't even let her have a burial, you fucking piece of shit. No, please. I like to tell my daughter the divorce is Don't bother voice. calling the cops. You can't do this! Just leave you! Oh, you can you? There's antidepressants in the glove box. You could use some. Who do you think you were messing with?
Sean is just a straight up hoe. Watch out! Chicken! Oh. After Kuji touched down stateside, he decided he was going to reopen the Ronin's gambling operations. We don't got to worry about the cops being on our ass for busting up the operation this time. That casino was hidden in the basement of the Marshall Winslow Rec Center. One of my boys has been staking the place out. He'll tell you how to get to the casino. Once you're inside, you should have no problem tearing that place up. Casino's downstairs, boss. There's going out of trouble, bro. Out of trouble, bro. Monday, please.
about this tomorrow. Fucker still screaming. I'm pretty sure Shogo's dead by now. Back in dream, right? Oh God! Jesus! What is it, Pierce? I bumped into an old buddy of yours who was looking for you. Who is it? You can see for yourself in a few minutes. You brought him here? How do you know this asshole isn't trying to kill me? Please, I would never kill my favorite assassin. Mr. Wong. This guy used to have me running around killing guys in hot dog suits. I'm quite pleased to hear about your survival. I'm here to give you my thanks for killing Kazuo Akuji's son. You know Akuji? Akuji and I have a long history. I have also had several unpleasant dealings with his son. What did Shogo do? When he was younger, he killed Mr. Wong's dog. You fucking kidding me. I do not joke about Sadie. If you guys got some time, we could... Is that? Were you followed? 
shit. I don't know. He was fucking followed. You aren't gonna believe this. A bunch of Ronin goons are coming this way? Well, yeah. You ready for this, Wong? Whoa. I have not killed a man in quite some time. I'm fine. 
Yes. But Akuji won't stop will. here. I know. We gotta lock our shit down. When the Ronin come back at us, I wanna be ready. Follow me like a child. The boss asked me to make sure the Ronin don't crash your party, and that's what I'm gonna do. Wong. deaths you and your rabble are receiving. It's nothing compared to what I will do to the saints when I'm through here. You talk too much. You got good timing. Mr. Wong needs your help. What's wrong? The Ronin have attacked the Heritage Festival. Mr. Wong won't last against Koji. Where's Get? He ran off to fight the Ronin as they approached. 
Sit tight. I'm on my way. I thought there was gonna be a fight.
bitch like you would take me out. No one touches Wong! match my skill no <laughs> I'm gonna cheat finish it <laughs> put Wong on the phone Hey Wong, I want you to hear something. Come on, be a good sport. You hear that, Wong? You're welcome. Thanks. When I escape, the world will not be big enough for you to hide in. Luckily for me, you're gonna burn to death in a few minutes. Your son never should have fucked with my friends. You've come to the right place. There's extra miles. That's how it's told, bitch. Could you? Uh...
sunshine. Come on, man. Where's the shipment? There is no shipment. This isn't funny, man. I couldn't agree more. I don't care how much you jack up the price. Just give me the dust. There's nothing for me to sell. You promised that another shipment was coming in. And there was. But the Saints stole it. Fuck you, then. Where are they slinging? I'll buy from them. <laughs> No, you will not. You are upset and want your drugs, this I understand. But there are other solutions. Like what? You all will go and steal the drugs from the saints. Are you fucking crazy? They'll kill us all. Perhaps. But if they don't, you will be taken care of for quite some time. We... we get to keep what we take? Oh yes. This standing around shit. Why can't something exciting happen? You had to say something, Pierce. These guys are willing to die to get their fix. Pierce, get the truck. We'll hold them off. lasted this long without me. You guys load up the truck. I'll take care of these assholes. This is so going in my blog. who think they're covered in bugs don't ah! You're gonna have to try harder than that! Wait a minute! Someone else! Pierce, take the wheel. I'll get your back.
I need that! Where's Sunshine? Give me the dust! Fine. Where's Sunshine? What does it matter? You're gonna kill me anyway. I'm in no rush. He hangs out at the old meat packing plant. See, was that so hard? I'm coming too. No. This is total bullshit. You can't just cut me out of the loop. I can do whatever the fuck I want. It's one of the perks of running a gang. Is Pierce talking shit again? Because I don't care what- This doesn't have anything to do with Pierce. If a strung out DJ almost took you out, a crazy motherfucker like Sunshine will tear you apart. I don't have time to babysit you. You won't have to babysit. Stick to tactics, Shondi. This conversation is over. worth my time. You think that 
will stop me. <coughs> For fuck's sake, die! <laughs> Coming through. Those bums we evicted set up shop in the underground caverns. Now normally, I wouldn't give a shit, but these assholes been mugging tourists so they can have enough bank to come at us. You toss their shanty town, and I doubt they'll try to step. They call me Hobo Trainer! Man, it's my fucking Stillwater! You 
Romero? That's right. Where's your crew then? I don't need one. You sure about that? I could kill you right now. No, you couldn't. What do you want? Listen, I'm not stupid. I know who you are. Now, there's no reason for us to tear each other apart. I'm listening. Here's what I'm thinking. We divide still. I hear voices this way! Shit! We need to get out of here. Yeah, but which way? Ow! You can stop the saints? Hit the street. We go down, we're taking a boat out of here. Ah! Oh! Ah! Ah! So here we are. Jesus, it's like a coked up sideshow. Pretty impressive, huh? Aren't you worried about being in the open? People know to stay away. How's my truck coming? It'll be ready for the competition. Thanks, Donnie. You know that guy? Later. You're back! You expected anything less? Hi, I'm Jessica. Nice to meet you. Hey, I'm Carlos. I'm still Jessica. <laughs> you know, you remind me of my old house cleaner. <laughs> I 
I'm kidding. I was kidding. Babe, you want to count the cash? Sure. Yo, Matt, you ready to work? Hey, aren't you the guitarist for the Feed Dogs? Don't encourage him. Listen, lady, you guys met at one of my concerts, so I don't want to hear it. Don't you think you have enough tattoos? Brother, I got a lot of canvas left. So let's get back to business. The Brotherhood is about to come into something big, and I think the Saints are going to want to get in on the ground floor. So what's the offer? 2080. I'm assuming I get the 80? Yeah, sure you do. You really expect me to take 20 and say thanks? On your hands and fucking knees. Is this a joke? I used to own... Used to is right. Time's passed you by. Now you're a has-been with some burn scars. I suggest you shut the fuck up before... You're kidding me, right? Hey, man, be cool. You really think that a couple of washed-up bangers like you and Gat have a chance against the Brotherhood? We'll see. Let's go, Carlos. Honey, you want me to have someone take care of them? Nah. They'll be dead soon enough. You ain't sure. My kid's 16th birthday is coming up, and she's got a couple cars on her birthday list. Can you give me a hand? How are you doing? Dr. Raymond Gonzalez says you're highly recommended. How is the doc? Oh, that stunt you pulled with him landed him in jail. Oh, sorry. Don't worry about it. He was a dick. Anyway, I was wondering if you could run the same insurance scam with me. Didn't you just say Gonzalez got thrown in jail? Why would you want to try the same thing? How about you worry about throwing yourself in front of cars and I worry about not getting arrested? Suit yourself.
form of insurance.
It's mine now. If I get far because of this, I'll kick your ass.
need your wheels. Good trunk space. Great! Uh. Who the hell are you? Uh, I, I spent all my money on jerky.
little this old fashioned way and an arm rifle. Ah, you beautiful son of a bitch. This just ain't right. You gonna stand there, or you gonna work out? I get enough cardio running from the cops. Suit yourself. I'm surprised you can run five minutes without coughing up a lung, let alone five miles. I'm full of surprises. Then surprise me and tell me how we're gonna take out the general. Well, that creep's always riding around in that limo of his, right? Yeah. So I figure the easiest way to find him is to go and tap into the traffic cameras at the police station. I don't know if easiest would be the word I'd use. All right, so it's not the easiest way, but it's the quickest. Besides, now I get to tag along. Are you high, or do you not remember the part where I told you I wasn't gonna babysit you? Okay, so you're gonna hack into the traffic cameras then? Yeah, that's what I thought. Let's go, boss. You got any weed? They're not gonna let us walk in dressed like this. We gotta get some disguises.
This should be a new look for you. You look great in a jumpsuit. I feel ridiculous. You gotta learn how to take a compliment, boss. You sure tapping the cameras is gonna work? I don't think they're gonna let us sit there and watch monitors all day. Just tapping into the cameras isn't enough. That's why Pierce is jacking some electronics so we can set up surveillance at the hideout. My friends and I want to before we go on the station, remember to put your piece away. Most repairmen don't wave around guns. Welcome to the Stillwater Police Department. How may I help you? Yeah, we're here to fix the, uh, the thing. We're here to fix the computers in the monitoring station. God, there's always something acting up in this place. The monitoring station's upstairs. All right, let's get to the control room. I've got a dangerous job, ma'am, but it's worth it to make sure that the innocent people are protected. Okay, just give me a minute. You know better than mess with me. Let's put a stop to this. Let's show them how to save the world. so good. Should be a helicopter on the roof. Let's go. Shandy wanted. You sure she knows what she's doing? God, I hope so. We'll meet you back home.
All right, people, here's the deal. We got a truck full of electronic shit that I don't know how to use. I want you guys to help unload the truck and set up shop here. Once we're up and running, I want someone watching these monitors 24-7. The moment someone sees that fucking limo, I want to know about it. Let's get to work. This is gonna work, right? Probably. You had me break into a police station for something that would probably work? Well, you know, I thought it would be good times. Thanks, Shondi. Anytime. Holy shit. I found the limo. Yo, Shondi, where the hell are you? What's up? Get up, we gotta get moving. What, you're actually taking me along? I can't get a hold of Pierce. Thanks, I guess. You're welcome. Now get up, we gotta catch that limo. Where are we going? The general was headed towards the mall. We gotta beat him there. Get ready. Please be the apocalypse.
Is he dead? You got a light? That's it, huh? Seeing as we stole their drugs, cornered the lower dust market, took their territory and killed their leader, I'm pretty sure the sons of Samdi are fucked. So, how'd I do? Well, he's dead, and you're not, so I'd say pretty goddamn good. So you think I could take Gat? Not on your fucking life. What about Pierce? Probably not. Veteran child? Seeing as he's dead, I'm pretty sure you kick his ass. You're an asshole. Lynn, I... I miss you. That's sweet, Donnie. I missed you too. Oh, shit. You haven't seen me since your boss shot and stuffed me in the trunk of a car, and the best you can give me is, oh shit, 
You're supposed to be dead. That'll work. Now walk to the car. How'd you know I'd be here? You're predictable. What do you want with me? You're gonna do some pro bono mechanic work. What do you mean, pro bono work? I'm through answering questions. Now get in the car. You know where some of your new friends are hanging out? Yeah? Here's the deal. You rig your buddy's trucks to blow, and I won't put a bullet in your head. Screw up. Hey, wait. me for this. You're pissed about Lynn. I am too, but I had nothing to do with killing her. gonna kill me for this. Madam, the voices tell me you are ready to bear a child of great cosmic It's been set. I was in the rollers. Can't you let it go? Can 
I go now? The detonator's not working, and I can't fix it! I never did anything to you. All I ever did was fix cars. Do the saints think they are turning me down? Sweetie, it's not a big deal. Just kill him. Hey, Donnie, where have you... Meryl! I'm so sorry! What did you do, Donnie? I it's the saints! Th they... What did you do, Donnie? They made me rig up some of our boys' trucks and... And you did it? I, I didn't have a choice. You had a choice, Donnie. You chose your life over the rest of us. I had a gun to my head, man. What was I supposed to do? Have a spine. I didn't say anything about the shipment. Well, that makes it all better. Bro, you should be pissed at that asshole running the Saints, not Donnie. I didn't ask your opinion, Matt. Mero, who's gonna fix my car? <laughs> The reason the Somdi weren't able to get a complete lock on the university is because the Southern housing is being run by the Brotherhood. Prostitution, gambling, drugs. If it's a vice college kids want, the Brotherhood are pushing it here. If the Saints want to take control of this neighborhood, you're going to have to evict those assholes. Easy. Ow! Oh, I don't know what this is all about. But I should see I don't like it. I've been waiting all day for you. Ah, oh, come on. We were just having a little fun. Woo! Holy shit. Going to jail. Jesus. It was 
supposed to be Like you would take me out. I've been waiting for this. You'd be crazy not to have a gun or two in still water. with you. Get out of the goddamn sewer. Why are you looking away? In case you're, you know, being followed. This isn't a goddamn spy movie, Carlos. Can you turn around? What do you got for me? Nothing. Are you shitting me? Listen, I tried everything I could. What was I supposed to do? Try harder. 
After that shit you pulled with Donnie, the Brotherhood are keeping a tight lid on what they got cooking. I've heard one guy mention a shipment, but beyond that, it looks like we're back to square one. Which is? We know they like trucks and tattoos. You were on my shortlist, and you giving me tattoos and trucks? And the shipment. Which you know nothing about. Carlos, I like you. I do. But you got a lot to learn about being a lieutenant. I wish I had more to give you. Believe me, so do I. But fuck it, we'll figure out something. What is it? I think I got an idea. Marrow said he got a lot of canvas left. I'm gonna splatter paint all over him. Carlos, don't worry. I'm gonna make a banger out of you if it kills me. Thing away. Heading over to the nuke plant. I don't think the cops are gonna be too happy about it, so I need you to be ready to pull me out when I give you the call. No problem, boss. I'll get to a helicopter. came for. I need to get picked up. I'm on my way.
like the mission It's the old... <laughs> Who's your new friend? You think I know how to fly a helicopter? I had to pull a gun on the pilot to get him to fly here. Nice getaway plan, Carlos. Hey, we walked away from the crash. That's good enough for me. So what do we do now? We jack a car and get the hell out of here.
Bro, you are gonna look like a bad motherfucker. That's good, because I was beginning to think I looked like an investment banker. I'm glad you two are having fun, because God forbid we do something about the Saints. I'm gonna take care of them, babe. Sure you are. You think I'm afraid? No, she doesn't, Mero. Now can you stay cool? I'm almost done. I think you should stick to tattooing and drop the guitar. Whatever. The feed dogs fucking rock. Baby? It's not my fault. I blame society. People in still war have got it so. The Brotherhood ain't exactly tacticians, but they got at least one thing right. Getting paid to do nothing is love. If we want to be major players, we got to get some protection rackets going. And we might as well start with the neighborhood that loves to pay out. Chinatown. I'd run if I were you.
What the? Had enough yet? You wouldn't be duped. Saints is all about. The guy running the Brotherhood Protection Rackets owns the Pagoda Hotel. Shake him down and everyone else will fold. It's just so sad. Wish they'd fix my house. Y'all need to knock it's it off. Bad day to own a car.
Carlos, where the fuck are you? I think your people skills need some work, sweetie. Jessica, how'd you like Meryl's new tattoo? Actually, I think it's pretty sexy. Rugged, tough. Radioactive? That's cute. I try. Now what the fuck do you want? Well, I just wanted to let you know that since you were nice enough to give my man a makeover, I should return the favor. Don't worry, by the time we're through with him, Carlos will look just as handsome as Mara. Listen up, you fucking bitch! Course, I don't have access to the same materials you did, but you know, I'm mean, I figure we can make do. When I find you... I mean, I'm sure you'll do something scary. Do me a favor, when you're scraping up your buddy's face, just remember, Mara gave you a chance to be his partner. Again? Where'd Mero take Carlos? I don't know where he is. Ugh. Wrong answer. I can't tell you. Mero will kill me. You don't tell me, Mero won't get the chance. Stop! This is your last chance. I heard him say they were gonna take him on a ride around the docks.
You got insurance? Good. What the fuck? I had one of my boys watch Donnie's mechanic shop after you shook him down. Merrill went to check on Donnie, but when he left, he went straight to the docks to set up some business deal. I don't know what's going on, but a convoy of Brotherhood are going to the docks now. If you can hijack one of their trucks, you could probably join the convoy, get to the meeting place, and take out all the motherfuckers that show up. with the Saints.
known better than mess with me. Thank God you're here. Every second we're talking is one more second of airtime that Zack Johnson is stealing from me. Who? You know, that nut job lawyer who gets hard at the idea of a lawsuit. Lately he's been crusading against media he deems to be offensive. Does he have a lot of support? Not really. But the guy makes a big enough ass out of himself that whenever he pulls some stunt, people listen. And if people are watching him, they're not watching me. So what do you want me to do? Get out there and give me something worth covering. The more damage you do, the longer I can do a live broadcast. for the greater good.
chance that pregnancy test. Oh. <laughs>
stuff after all, huh? Saints appreciate your generosity. The transmission's going out anyway.
see these in this thing. Sorry. No problem, I got it. Watch out! Ah! Jesus Christ, are you trying to get killed? Look, I'm sorry. I don't have time for this. Sorry about that, baby. I almost dented my car on a hippie chick. Hey, I'm not a hippie. Mero, I'm fine. Look, I gotta go. I'm about to make the deposit. Sweetie, let me worry about the money. We'll have enough to cover the shipment, and once that comes in, the Saints won't have a chance in hell. Yo, Shandi, we're gonna hack or what? Hey, boss. Shondi, I'm watching Bobby and Amber. Can I wait? Not really. What's up? Mero's girlfriend just walked into the bank with a suitcase full of money. I'll be right over. You know what would be great? If I would kill us someone. Doing it, we'll both regret. Out, I do this all day. Let them go. Please kill my husband. It's your move. There's no way out of here. Just give up. You can't fight the whole SPD. Don't do anything crazy. This is insane. Ow! This all right, let's make this as painless as possible. Oh. Hostage situation. Oh. 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 
Alright, Jessica, you gonna turn off that alarm. Yeah? How am I gonna do that? Hit the off button.
What's this? Do me a favor. When you check the trunk, just remember you should have offered me something better than 20%. I think you're being too hard on yourself. Yeah, that car crushing thing was pretty tight. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of my work. It's just, I got so wrapped up in sending Mero a message, I never asked Jessica about the shipment. Bitch is dead. Who cares about the shipment? I do. It's something that Mero wants, and that means I'm gonna take it. All right, there's gotta be someone you can pump for information. What about Donnie? He got manhandled twice. I'm pretty sure he's out of the loop, if not dead. Hey, what about their tattoo? What about their tattoo artist? Good idea. What, what just happened? Shondi had a good idea. And what the fuck ever? She stole my... Don't be jealous, Pierce. We're all on the same team. You said before that this guy's in a band called the Feed Dogs, right? Yeah. They're playing tonight. Shouldn't be too hard to crash the show. Nice call, Shondi. What you say we borrowed a Feed Dogs power truck? See what this bad boy can do. You didn't hit the bottle before driving, did you? You hear that? That is music. What the hell are we listening to? The fuck you. I'm driving. We're gonna listen to whatever the hell I want. Fine, keep driving. I would have done the same thing. You mind stopping these assholes from shooting us? Sam Pierce, Shawnee's been on point with the good ideas. Why the fuck you gotta bring up Shandy? I'm the one driving the damn truck! The concept? 
sun started. Get in there. gear on this stage I haven't played with yet. You gotta believe me, I just tattooed the gang. They don't fill me in on what they're doing. You know that time you inked up Mero and you never heard him talk about a shipment with Jessica? All I heard is that it's coming in by boat. They leave me out of the loop on purpose. They were trying to keep me from getting mixed up in their shit. Your friends should have tried harder. Come on, I told you everything I know. Enjoy your retirement, man. <laughs> Hey, Sean. You know anyone that works at the docks? Not really. Looks like you get to make some new friends. Mara's got a shipment coming in by boat, and I want to get it before he does. Okay, I'll take care of it. looking all over for you. We got a serious... Damn, those are some nice shoes. You want to sit down? Yeah. No, we, we got a problem. What's up? The Brotherhood are all over our turf. What do you mean, all over? I mean, those assholes are driving around in some big-ass trucks blowing shit up. Great. You got the boys out there taking care of this? Yeah, about that. You're not filling <gasps> me with confidence, Pierce. What happened? Well, they kind of got arrested by the cops. Fuck you say? You got a bunch of big tattooed motherfuckers running around, burning shit, and you're surprised the cops show up? This just keeps getting better.
tries to see us. That's why. Jamie, I'm trying to downsize here. Um, Mr. Vogel, I'm not sure I'm adequately conveying Mr. Marrow's size. Get him out of here! <laughs> or send him in. Wow. Thanks, Jamie. You must be Mr. Marrow. I've heard about the connections Altor has. You're gonna get my boys out of jail and help me destroy the Saints. Your bargaining posture needs some work. The Saints killed my girlfriend and crippled my best friend. And that's unfortunate, but Old Tor is a business and there's no profit in revenge. Don't worry about the door, though. That one's on me. Fine. You want money? In a few days, a shipment's coming in- Mr. Marrow, nebulous shipment or not, I think I made myself quite- <laughs> Let's try this again. You're gonna help me destroy the saints. And Old Tor would love to be of service. Good. Stillwater Police Department. I need to talk to Troy Bradshaw. Who should I say? Do it! Chief, there's a Mr. Vogel on the line. Put him through. Hello, Troy. Yeah, what do you want, Vogel? It's not what I want, it's what I need. Which is? You are going to release all the Brotherhood you have locked up. And why the fuck would I do that? I'm looking after my clients. Your uh, clients are a bunch of criminals. Guilty before a trial. Nice. Is that the kind of mentality you like to instill in your subordinates? Huh. Spare me. All right, they're not getting released, and that's that. This is where we're going to have to agree to disagree. These men are going free. The only question is if you let this be settled quietly, or if you want a media circus that will make you look like a joke. I thought Altor wanted order. Okay, letting these assholes out is going to only make things worse. Troy, in order to maintain the ecosystem, sometimes the rangers need to start forest fires. You should know that better than anybody. 
I suspect I'll hear from you soon. Anyone that tries to step to the saints. turn of events, several members of the Brotherhood are being released today. A previously thought open-shut case turned into a fierce legal battle as several high-power attorneys fought tooth and nail for their client's freedom. Curious about the court proceedings, I spoke to Chief of Police, Troy Bradshaw. My personal opinion on the trial doesn't really matter. They were found innocent by a jury of their peers. So you think they were guilty? I'm sorry, Jane. Listen, I have to get back to work. Hey, why don't you try talking to Dane Vogel? Mr. Vogel, what's Altor's interest in the trial? Altor has no interest in the trial other than to see criminals get put behind bars. So there is no truth to the speculation that the Brotherhood's lawyers are in Altor's pocket? Jane, we've donated millions of dollars to the Stillwater PD as well as rebuilt the shattered community of Saints Row. I understand that everyone likes to pick on the big corporations, but this latest groundless attack on Altor's integrity is just ridiculous. Behind me, the men and women loading up onto these buses are being given another chance at freedom. But the question remains, are we also giving them another chance at a life of crime? I'm Jane Valderrama, Channel 6 News. Back to you, Jack. Looks like my favorite type, hot and dumb. by boat. You gotta find a way to stop them before they reach the mainland. I'm on it.
survival mission. See you. Thanks for the heads up, Jamie. Is there something I can help you with? They hit my boys when they were on the prison bus. Between your girlfriend and your gang, I'd say you're a magnet for tragedy, Marrow. You think this is fucking funny? No, but I do think it's your problem. My problems are your problems. Or do you need some fresh air to remind you? No. See, my problem is that a sideshow freak is messing up my paperwork. Your problem is that there's a group of security guards with assault rifles pointed at your back. Your security guards look more like a private army. Call them whatever you want. The point is, they have big guns. I'm sorry you couldn't protect your friends. I really am, but old Tor's done doing you favors. Come back here again, and I'll have you shot on sight. Go fuck yourself, Vogel. I've enjoyed our time together, too, but I think it's time to move on. Gentlemen, could you please show our guest out? And Mero, don't worry about your little shipment. Altor has already appropriated it. What did you say? Altor security is taking control of the boat carrying your goods. It only seemed fair that we get compensated for letting your boys out of jail. You can go now. That boat is never going to make it to shore. Goodbye, Mero. Appreciate the help. Oh. Hey, it's Shandy. Meet me at Adam's Arcade. I gotta talk to you about the Brotherhood. Try to be careful with it. It's just do.
Tell me you didn't pick this place just so you could play that stupid game. No, I picked this place so we could play this stupid game. This gang shit's got you a little stressed out. You need to relax. By playing skee-ball. Oh, yeah. You know, most people just smoke pot. Right. And then they go play skee-ball. Fuck it. So did you hit the docks like I asked? Wait, what? After the Feed Dogs concert, I called you to look into the docks and you said Look, that... I gotta be honest, I was really stoned. You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I totally am. One of the dock workers just called and said this big guy with tattoos and a scarred face was shaking people down trying to find out when some shipment was rescheduled to arrive. Why would Maro need to ask about the time of his own shipment? I don't know, maybe it got delayed. And you're sure this big guy with tattoos is Maro and not just some biker guy? I'd bet my life on it. Deal. Wait, hold up. What do you mean, deal? Check it out. I got some more dirt on the ship. Hold up, I got another call. Hello? Okay, I just got some more info on Marrow's shipment. Alright, lay it on me. Marrow's bought enough guns to take over... something that needs a lot of guns to take over. The point is, that if you get to the cargo hold, you should find some nice toys to play with. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Bob. You there? Meryl's got a shit ton of ammo stashed in the- You're a little late on the pickup, Pierce. Shawnee told me all about it. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm the one who told Shawnee about it! Yeah, that's great. Listen, can you tell Shawnee good job for me? Thanks. May I help you? Well, don't worry about the FDA investigation. This probably isn't contaminated.
What's up? Are you okay? I'm fine. What's up? I was listening in on the police scanner, and the Coast Guard is reporting a lot of Brotherhood are coming towards you. You sure? Boss, are you there? I'm fine, Shondi. Suddenly I'm not so worried about the Brotherhood.
Yo, Shonda, we're gonna need some boys to come out here and give me a hand moving this shit. I'm on it, boss. I'm glad y'all seem to like the new hardware the Brotherhood decided to hook us up with. You know, up until this point, we've been toying with Mara. Kill his bitch here, steal his money there, but I'm through playing. We know where he lives, we have his guns, and I say it's time we take that motherfucker out. What you think? <laughs> Fire. Don't point unless you mean it.
Let's do it, people! Stay loose, Saints! It ain't over yet. We got plenty more of these assholes to go through. The Brotherhood are finished. You think you can go toe to toe with the Brotherhood? Marrow, I'm coming for you. Gonna be
shooting stop. Do you think it's over? <laughs> like a bitch when we trust him up. How about you, bitch? You gonna scream? What the fuck? I used to date this guy, Richie, who works as a baggage handler at Wardle. Well, the other day, I found out he was holding, so I stopped by to say hi and smoke a bowl. Anyway, it turns out that while he was at work, he snuck off to a hangar to celebrate 420 and overheard Marrow talking with some scary Eurotrash dudes. Whatever's happening is involving some serious money, so if you get to the hangar before the deal goes down, I'll bet you can wire that money to us. After that, if you're still feeling psychotic, you could take out the Brotherhood and whoever they're dealing with.
anyone that tries to step to the saints. Get your ass to the Altor Dome. This ends now. show. I'm surprised you have the balls to come alone. I never said I'd be alone. being in a coma.
last words. Go to hell. Sorry, didn't catch that. somebody over to As many of you know, the restoration of Saints Row is a tremendous success, but that was just the beginning of what Old Tor has in mind for Stillwater. This is Shivington. Once a pristine set of tenement homes, this neighborhood has devolved into a dangerous ghetto filled with undesirables such as these. Now, I'm sure a lot of you are wondering, ugly buildings, unwashed masses, what the hell is Old Tor thinking? My friends, we are thinking about the future. Picture this, glass towers, clean streets, and no one below the poverty line trying to wash your car. Impossible? For a lesser company, maybe. Now, I'm not here to make idle promises or vague predictions. No offense to all of you politicians out there. No, I'm here to show you how we're going to do it. Now, obviously, before we can remodel Shivington, we need to own the land. So how do we do that? by directing the gangs towards Sunnyvale. Not only are we lowering the number of our detractors, we are lowering the property value as well, which means when we buy the land, the savings get passed on to you, the stockholders. The gangs cripple each other. We direct funds to the Stillwater Police Department, they increase police presence, and pretty soon, all those nasty little gangbangers are gone. Crime stops, property value goes up, and now your population looks like this.
here for messing with the Saints. This could be going better. Hey, you got a second? Not really. I got a bunch of guys trying to kill me right now. Yeah? Well, I got a couple APCs trying to run my ass down. Listen, if they're coming for us, you can bet your ass they're gonna be pissing Shawnee, too. You gotta go check on them. I'm on it. some amazing time.
brawl gang. I liked Ultor a lot more when they just made clothes. What you do to piss these guys off? Fuck if I know. Yo, I signed on for killing gangbangers, not fighting some SWAT team from hell. Don't worry about it, Pierce. We'll take care of it. The fuck you mean don't worry about it? These guys are packing space age shit. Hey, Shondi, you date anyone who worked at a place called the Pyramid? No. For real? All right. You two find out whatever you can about this place. I want to take these assholes apart. <laughs> Hello there! You're just the person I was looking for. What's up, Lee? I got a couple of ongoing cases against the Stillwater PD, and I could use a little leverage. What kind of leverage? Well, I figure if you got yourself on that cop show fuzz, we could show the world a side of our police force that isn't exactly primetime friendly. I don't like the idea of taking beatings for your clients. Oh, you misunderstand me. I want you dressed as one of Stillwater's finest. And let me guess, there's gonna be a lot of people resisting arrest. Uh, well, what happens in the course of duty is up to you. Uh, far be it from me to tell an officer of the law how to beat an unarmed man with a blunt object, or how to discharge your weapon on someone who's trying to surrender. Thanks for not judging how I do my job. Oh, I have nothing but respect for our men in uniform. Let's get some... ...some exciting footage, uh, for fun. Social mores are being violated. Please investigate. Oh, uh, take this sledgehammer. I think they surrendered! It ain't working. 
judge our lust. Don't see that filming sitcoms. Is that is that procedure? You've changed my life. Officer, please respond to an alleged streaker. You're a police officer, for God's sake! Officer needed to respond to a potential looper. Why are we glamorizing this? Someone like that? Never have anything to do with that guy like me. I got bigger <laughs> Standard issue, right? Now, do you know what that'll do to our ratings? <laughs> that that wasn't in the script. The drama. The drama. Hey, uh, can you kick him a little more? My camera was pointing the wrong way. Can, can you go back and do that again? The litter bug is trying to flee the scene. Please respond. footage uh, for fun. use chainsaws, right? Watch it. <laughs> that, that wasn't in the script. Uh, we're not doing stuff films. My camera was pointing the wrong way. Can, can you go back and do that again? An illegal drug deal is taking place. Approach with caution. This is madness!
Some hookers are overthrowing their pimp. Please calm the situation. You guys use flamethrowers as a standard issue, right? This shit's gonna make my career! Abuse of power! <laughs> Chainsaws, right? The more blood, the higher the ratings. Possible insurance fraud is in progress. Please respond. Ah, I need some B-roll of you using a Gall 43. problem at all. You think we can get them to sign a waiver? Was that legal? Don't worry, we can edit that out in post. We have a code brown. I repeat, a code brown. Ease up! Enjoy this a little too much. I bet they'll walk again someday. This is the greatest day of my career. Your beauty laws can't touch me. I was serving the will of the holy. The hell? Hey, uh, can you keep all the beauty laws?
like a more tasty version of speed. Don't get mobbed. You don't see that filming sitcoms. You've changed my life. First rule of TV. Every third act needs a minigun. Uh, maybe try for a little less psychotic. Too many apple teenies for you, pussy? Skateboarders have been spotted. I repeat, skateboarders have been spotted. Switch to satchel chargers. It's better for timing. I, I think they surrendered. Oh, the ratings! The ratings! I've never seen police work like this. This is going to be the best episode of the season. Is that, is that procedure? Ah, do you know what that'll do to our ratings? You really love your job. We got you now! You can't escape. Half the cops in Stillwater are after you. This shit's gonna make my career! God damn! We need an officer to deal with a maniac postal worker. You remind me of my wife. I can't wait to but without the muscle. audience is gonna eat this You're a police officer, for God's sake! Why are we glamorizing this? Hey, you've got some great camera presence. That, that wasn't in the script. Can't watch. Now this is good television. You asked for it, and we gave it to you. I smell a promotion for this. A silent alarm has been tripped at the bank. My camera was pointing the wrong way. I'm dying to get footage of you using the Annihilator. to sign a waiver? This isn't justice, it's brutality! They're gonna save this stuff or sweeps me.
Mine's almost up. Oh, that's a wrap! Is this the pyramid? Yeah. Altor's built a huge R&D facility underneath Mount Claflin. Let me guess. They aren't developing a better bread box. Honestly, they probably are. They're just, you know, developing guns and body armor, too. Why is Altor gunning for us? It doesn't matter. Here's the plan. Pierce and Shondi, I want the two of you to hit the streets and take out as much Altor property as you can. If Altor wants to come after us, fine. But we're gonna make it fucking cost them. Gat, you and I are gonna hit the pyramid. What, we don't get to blow shit up in public? Fine. We could do some damage street side, but we gotta be quick. I don't want to give Altor any more of a heads up than we have to. Oh, great. Fix up now. Making that noise. Use it to take out. <laughs>
sometimes when you see a gangbanger in trouble, you know only a philosophologist can save them. Watch out for I like what you've done with the city. Huh? A man with your ambition. So, the Brotherhood's toast. You gonna get Troy back next? some voodoo gang or something. Maybe with enough airbrushing. Baby, this dick isn't gonna suck itself. Take me out. Some people.
What, you get distracted? Dane, while your project has been yielding positive results, the board is a little concerned. I don't understand. The Saints are out of control. That was the point. When you budgeted funds for Force Majeure, we didn't realize compromising the Pyramid was what you had in mind. We're dealing with violent criminals. Are you really surprised they might do something, I don't know, violent? The pyramid was not going to last forever. It's better to spin this now when we are the victims than when Channel 6 does an undercover expose. Dane, fix the problem. Okay, maybe I'm being too obtuse. Let me try this again. There is no problem. We've had enough of your ego. My ego is what got you this far. Finish off the saints, or being fired is the least of your worries. Is that all? Take care of this, Dane. Of course I will. You want to give me your car? Why, thank you! I What's this? Don't know. I found it here and it was addressed to you. Looking to crash your party? Thinking about it. Well, your history with boats is pretty solid, so, uh, this seems like a good idea. I think I'm gonna go find Shandy. Good idea. Don't you care who sent it? Nope. But it's probably a trap. Yep.
first. Get on the ground and put your hands on your head! Please, I'm too sober for this! Stand down! Shoot the kid! We're gonna have to do that! Try harder than that. Teachings. Keep your eyes open. Boys, this isn't over yet. Surrender, or you're not getting out of this alive. Oh, that's all right, Jamie. I think I'm going to skip it this year. Oh, and Jamie? Yes, sir? Please move my things to my new office and set up a press conference. You were promoted, Mr. Vogel? I'm about to be. Can you, like, not 
I got a tip that a bunch of Altor execs are meeting up at the Round Square Shopping Center today. They're being escorted around by Altor security, but taking them out shouldn't be too hard. Now let's remind these fuckers who they're dealing with. Oh, sons of Sam, need to make did. another booze Can I start calling myself Jin? Bring those corporate whores to Fucking still water.
You'll think it's funny later. Trust me. You in position, Johnny? Oh, yeah. Just make sure I get to Vogel. As most of you know, the Old Tour board of directors were assassinated the other night, and while we at Old Tour would like to take the time to mourn their passing, sadly, that's a luxury we don't have. The corporate office has named me chairman. And I wanted to personally let you all know, not only will business continue as usual, but we will be taking even greater strides forward. Monica Hughes has graciously greenlit a project that's very dear to us at Old Tour, the revitalization of Shivington. In the coming days... He's got a gun! He's got a gun! Ah! Mr. Bull, come with us.
steal that asshole Vogel yet? Working on it. You put the Phillips building in lockdown. The security station's all over the outside of that thing. You take a helicopter and blow those things up, you'll crash their security.
Keep your head down. Alright, let's not be too hasty here. You're upset, you're frustrated, and you've got a gun, which you know I'd really like it if you would put that away. You should have thought of that before you sent a team to wipe out my gang. I tried telling the board that going after the Saints was a big mistake. They should have listened to you. Believe me, right now I am agreeing with you 100%, but you have to look at the positives. You're alive, they're dead, and you have the Saints' number one fan running all- <laughs> We missed it? Told ya. Now pay up. Where the fuck were you guys? Traffic. What? He's not joking. The roads have been blocked off. You see Gad out there? Oh, he's fine. He's still out there killing cops. Figures. What is it? It's done. Time to pull out of there. You sure? Get the fuck off of me! I mean, I'm not running out of ammo anytime soon. I'm sure. See you back home. Later. Who you calling now? All right.
What's up, Dex? I know you're a cop. The fuck are you talking about? Come on, man. Who you think you're talking to? The tactics, the police station thing, your shitty haircut. You got cop written all over you. So, uh, what are you gonna do? Nothing. What? I'm out, Troy. I got offered a job at Altor. I'm dropping my flags and I'm going straight. I just want to make sure that we're not going to have a problem. How you doing, Julius? I was doing better before I got arrested. I wanted to talk to you about that. I bet you do. Listen, Julius, you've made some bad choices, but you're a good man. Let, let me help you out. What do you want? I want the Saints to be gone, okay? Now, there's two ways that that can happen. You can arrest all of us. Or you guys can quit while you're ahead. All right, this is my investigation. I can miss a few collars. What are you saying? Dex is out of the game, and you're in jail. If you can convince Johnny and your number two to drop their flags, the Saints will fall apart, and everyone goes home happy. You don't think this will work, do you? You think I like arresting my friends? Convince them to quit, and I won't have to. There's no way that player's gonna stop. Make them understand. Let's say I can. How do I know I'm going free? I've already talked to the mayor. Hughes is willing to give you guys pardons. I'll see what I can do. What the fuck was that? It was the only way. I said talk, not set off a goddamn bomb. Relax, Troy. The Saints are finished. Don't try to find me. Secure the area. Bring this one in. Oh! How you doing, player? If you've gone through Troy's files, you know that Julius set you up. Meet me at the old church, and I'll tell you where to find Julius. Huh? You mind? You got a problem? The fuck took you so long? You ain't Dex. Neither are you. You look different, did you? I didn't do shit to my hair. You pulling a gun on me? Well, I didn't have time to plant a bomb in the church, so this I have to do. You don't know what the hell you talking about. Why don't you educate me? I don't gotta explain shit to you. This is where we gonna have to agree to disagree. Why don't you just put the gun down? We both know you're not gonna use it. Not yet. Stop! I never thought I'd see you beg, Julius. I'm not begging. I'm trying to talk some sense into you. I'm done listening to your bullshit. Put it together. Dex wanted us in the same place. Yeah, and why'd he want that? Can we kill each other later? Dex sent the Masako. Looks like he means business. Get on the fucking ground now! Ah! You to a step! Ah! 
Now, bitch! A helicopter? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm putting a bullet in Dex's head for this. What do you say we get the hell out of here? You shoot. I'll drive. You ain't hearing me complaining. I got some hardware you might like in the back seat.
soon as we get the shot? We're both gonna die here. You didn't think it was gonna be that easy, did you? I didn't come this far to die. Just like old times, player. Yeah. Jesus. I thought we were past this. Not by a fucking long shot. Don't you get it? The Saints didn't solve a goddamn thing. Drugs were still being pushed. Innocent people were still getting killed. All we did was turn into vice kings that wore purple. Jesus Christ, you sound like a pussy. I sound like someone who's not a sociopath. You want to be the killer with a conscience? Fine. Drop your flags and write a book like King, but you never should have came after me. You telling me, if I would have asked you to walk away, you would have said yes. Fuck no, this is my city. Jesus, you haven't learned a goddamn thing. Wrong. I've learned that being in charge is better than being a bitch who keeps his mouth shut and does what he's told. Your time's over, old man. What's happened to you? I woke up. You owe me, player. If it wasn't for me, you would have died on that street corner. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have been in a goddamn coma. But I guess that makes us even. Not really. <laughs>